Would you like to be able to create a PDF file, which could be a flyer or any other type of PDF, upload it to your WordPress website, and then create a link for anyone to be able to download it? That's what this video will show you how to do. Hi, I'm Neil Walters. So I have a fairly new laptop here, and the first thing I'm gonna do is install a program called Primo PDF. If you just go Google that, it comes up usually right away, and you'll select their website, and it'll take you over to um, this web, this download site, downloadcnet.com. I click the download button and I've already got it here on my uh, download files. So now I'm going to install it. And the only thing you wanna make sure, you just wanna make sure when you install it here is that you don't install any of their extra stuff that you don't really want on your PC. Sometimes this website, uh, download.cnet.com, will try to give you other stuff that you really don't want. So just make sure you install Primo PDF and say I agree. And then the registration, is it optional or required? It just says here, registering your software will enable you to receive product updates. Well, maybe you don't want that. So just click next and it looks like you're fine. Okay, that did open a website in another browser, but we don't really care about that. I'm still debating if I'm going to install Microsoft Word on this website or not. So right now I have LibreOffice, which is a free tool that lets you create documents. So I'm going to create a writer document. And I'm just going to stop the video and type in some stuff here. Okay, so just a couple minutes there, I created this uh, kind of a boring flyer. You can obviously spend more time on that. There's other lessons on the web on how to create flyers. That's not the purpose of this video. So now how do I turn it into a PDF? Actually, I, I didn't even know this. There's a, here in this LibreOffice, there's export as PDF. So actually what I was gonna do was use Primo PDF, but so you could do either one. Let's do, let's suppose you're in Microsoft Word and there was no export as PDF option. You can go to print. And when you install this Primo PDF, what it does, it puts like a fake printer on your computer. And that fake printer is actually, will create the PDF in a file on your disk. And so here's a preview of what your flyer or your PDF would look like. And you click OK. And at that point, Primo PDF comes up and moved over to another screen, says, do you want to do this? It says, you can save time and get new features by automatically checking for updates. I'm going to say no for now on that. And this is the little Primo PDF tool. And there's more questions here. You can actually create other things with it, but... Let's just go with the, this one. What does print do? Okay, larger files. Okay, let's do that one. Create PDF. I think it's asking you, do you want to show your PDF on the screen normally or are you normally going to be printing it? So we don't know what the people are going to do with it. And so now I'm going to save it on my disk here. This is my OneDrive. I'd rather actually save it on my hard drive. My OneDrive is the one that's in the cloud. So here we go. And at that point, we should have the file there. So now I'm going to open a WordPress site for you. Okay, I have a lot of WordPress sites I use, and here's just an example of one of them. And on the left side here, there's an option called Media. And I didn't really dawn on me until recently that uh, you could actually upload other types of media. Normally you just, I would say, you know, most of my WordPress sites, I upload picture files here. So if you go over to Library, you'll see all the different photos you've uploaded for that site. And here I've already practiced. I put one PDF file there already, but now we're going to upload another one. So PDF is one type of media, right? So I'm going to say add new, and then I can either drag and drop the file here, or I can select it from my disk. So let me do the drag and drop. Okay, so I open Windows Explorer here, and you can see the ODT file is the open document. That's the open document text that's the Libre file format and then the PDF one is the one I created so now I'm going to slide that over a little bit I'm just going to take the PDF file right click actually don't take that back you don't have to right click you just take the left click and you drag it oh actually right click work too now I uploaded it twice okay didn't need to do it twice so we have three PDFs here now so this is the main one I'm interested in I need to now delete the extra one so to delete it, you can just come over here and click Delete Permanently, and that way you get rid of the extras. Okay, so here's the flyer that I want to use on my website. 
So what we need is the reference to it. So if I click on it once, you come over here and there should be a URL here. Whoops, sorry, I hit the uh, arrow key. It's not what I wanted. It's going through all my other little pictures here. Okay, I messed up. You know, the screen is small because I'm trying to make a video. So I'm going to slide this over where you can see it. If you're on a big screen, you can actually see more of the file name here. I wish they made it, uh, well, I think you should be able to copy it. Yeah, so you highlight this. There it is. Highlight that file name. Sorry, it's being stubborn. Okay, they're not making it easy, are they? There, double click it. Now I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna go put it in Notepad just for a minute. Okay, so I just pasted it in Notepad just so I don't lose it and have to come back and do that little step again. So my full website name and Actually, when I named it, I called it Demo Flyer for PDF, and then it's called .pdf. So when I really named it, I shouldn't have put for PDF on the end, but I think you understand that you normally wouldn't do that. Okay, so now we've done that. Now I'm going to go create a post or a page on your website. So let's just say we're going to create a new page here, and we're going to call this uh, Download Flyers. And then here are the flyers for our upcoming seminars and now this is going to be or well, you can be in visual mode or text mode and do it either way so now I'm going to come back and take that link and if I'm in text mode I can put it here and I can just highlight it and I can put the link and say open a new tab and that's really all you have to do or let me just show you another way you can do it you could Hang on there, what happened? Okay, I think I hit cancel or escape or something, so it didn't take. So let me do that again. Hit this little uh, thing here called insert link. Make sure you add the link. Okay, now we're down here. So you could also call this uh, um, Sunday, March 20, whatever, 7th seminar. And again, I could highlight that like that come up here hit the little link and again paste the PDF file name now if I show you this in text mode this is a nor what's called the normal anchor link and I don't want to explain that really in this video but basically you have your href to where the name of the file is on your on your server and then this is the word that appears on the screen so we simply publish that page and then we click here view page and this is our new screen called Download Flyers. And I should be able to click either one of these. And voila, there is our PDF displaying in a separate tab at the top of my uh, browser. And then if the user wants to print it out, I think most people know how to do that. There's a way to move the cursor around and you'll get the little printer icon or they can save it to their disk. Or if you want to explain to them, the other way they could do it is they can right click here and say save link as. Here it come, there it came just a minute later. Then they can put it on their disk where they want to save it and they can download your flyer and do whatever they want to with it. So that's how easy it is to do a flyer or a PDF file and put it on a WordPress site. Hope you've enjoyed this. I've got some other great videos on my YouTube channel, so subscribe and stay tuned of what's coming out in the future. And there might be some examples of some of my better ones from the past that come up next, kind of in the preview mode. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.